Could azelaic acid help you block DHT? Well, we're going to find that out in this video. We're going to look at what azelaic acid is. I'd never heard of azelaic acid before creating this video, so it's super interesting stuff. We're going to look at how it can act as a 5-alpha reductase and DHT inhibitor. We're going to look at what the science says, and then I'm going to show you how you can use azelaic acid as part of a hair care routine. So make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel we create tons of science backed YouTube videos just like this one, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. So guys, into the video on azelaic acid. Now maybe you've heard that azelaic acid could be a powerful way to fight hair loss, but you're not sure if it's true or not. Well in this video you're going to learn if there is any truth behind these claims of using azelaic acid and then you're going to learn the best ways to use it how and how to avoid any side effects along the way. First guys, let's have a quick chemistry rundown of what azelaic acid is. Azelaic acid is an organic compound with the chemical formula C9H16O4. It is also known as nonanedioic acid due to it having 9 carbons. You can count these carbons on the illustration to the right uh, and they are pointy unlabeled ridges. As you can see, the last carbon on each end is double bonded to an oxygen, as well as a single bonded to a hydroxyl, or OH. This gives it two carboxyl functional groups, minus COOH. This makes it part of the crystalline dicarboxylic acid family. Dicarboxylic acids are used in the production of many products, such as food, fragrances, polyamides, lubricants, adhesives, polyesters, and pharmaceuticals. Now, Azelaic acid also has a free oxygen radical, the scavenger activity of which reduces inflammation. Of the dicarboxylic acids, azelaic acid is the most well known. It is produced by Malassezia furfur, a harmless fungi present on everyone's skin, and is also found in whole grain cereals, rye, barley, and animal products. In plants, azelaic acid plays an important role in responding to infection by serving to signal for the production of pathogen fighting components such as salicylic acid. In humans, azelaic acid also naturally plays an important role in fighting infections and some of its properties include being antibacterial, antioxidant, keratolytic and anti-inflammatory. So guys, let's have a look at some of the current pharmacological uses for azelaic acid. According to the Food and Drug Administration's Pharmacological Class Index, azelaic acid is attributed to the following physiological effects. Decreased protein synthesis, Decreased sebaceous gland activity. Since this molecule has many properties that work to reduce skin damage, several companies have created azelaic acid topical creams to treat mild to moderate inflammatory acne and rosacea. Brand names for this FDA approved product in the United States include Azlex, Finacea, and Finacea Plus. So let's have a look at azelaic acid's role as a 5 alpha reductase inhibitor. 5-alpha reductase is an enzyme that catalyzes the reaction which transforms testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. The androgen DHT is 5 times as potent as testosterone and plays an important role in the development of men's sexual characteristics, including the development of hair on the chin, back and chest. However, DHT is actually detrimental to the growth of hair on the scalp, playing a key role in male pattern baldness. Thus, finding molecules that inhibit the ability of steroid 5-alpha reductase to create DHT is of great importance to dermatologists specializing in hair regrowth. A 1988 study published in the British Journal of Dermatology used an in vitro assay to test the effects of zinc and azelaic acid on the steroid 5-alpha reductase activity in human skin. Through the experiment, Dr. Stamatiadis and his research team determined that azelaic acid could completely inhibit 5-alpha reductase activity at a concentration of 3 millimoles per milliliter. Even more interesting, the researchers found that when azelaic acid, zinc and vitamin B6 were added together at very low concentrations, it resulted in a 90% inhibition of 5-alpha reductase. Dr. Stamatiadis concluded that zinc sulfate combined with azelaic acid could potentially be an effective treatment of androgen related ailments. And let's have a look at azelaic acid with alopecia areata. Now the immune mediated disease alopecia areata, the scientific term for spot baldness, currently has no known cure. There are currently no FDA approved medication for tackling this type of genetic alopecia 
that contains azelaic acid. Still, while azelaic acid has not been completely proven to treat this condition, there are promising studies involving the compound in relation to hair maintenance and regrowth. In a pilot study concerning azelaic acid's possible use in managing spot baldness, Dr. Sasmaz and Dr. Arikan performed an experiment comparing azelaic acid and anthralin for the therapy of patchy alopecia areata. Now, azelaic acid has been used to treat this condition in the past, but until this research came out, there had been no controlled studies to evaluate the effectiveness of this treatment. Anthralin is a proven irritant treatment for the management of symptoms associated with alopecia areata, making it a good baseline to determine the usefulness of other novel treatments. Now, in this cutting edge experiment, Dr. Sasmaz and Dr. Arikan recruited 31 subjects who were afflicted with patchy alopecia areata. None of these subjects had used any alopecia treatments within at least the past month. After a baseline of demographic and clinical characteristics were taken into account, the subjects were randomly assigned one of two groups. Both groups were similar in terms of demographic and clinical characteristics, which could have potentially tainted baseline treatment response and thus the study results. The first group was told to apply 20% azelaic acid cream to the affected portion of scalp daily for 12 consecutive weeks. The second group was told to apply 0.5% anthralin cream to the affected portion of scalp daily for 12 consecutive weeks. Then there was an 8 week follow up during which time no cream was applied to see whether the results of the treatment created could be maintained. All study participants completed the experiment as instructed and no serious adverse events occurred during this time. At the end of the cumulative 20 week period, Dr. Sasmaz and Dr. Arikan examined the efficiency of this novel azelaic acid treatment by conducting a clinical examination on the subject participants. Now, during the, this examination, each of the subject scalps were awarded a terminal hair regrowth score on a scale from 0 to 2. In this scale, a 0 indicated an inadequate response, a 1 indicated a partial response, and a 3 indicated a complete response. At, 20, at week 20, the average terminal hair regrowth scores were as follows. The azelaic acid group had 27 and the anthralin group had 37. This shows that both subjects who applied 20% azelaic acid and subjects who applied 0.5% anthralin finished the study with similarly positive results. Since the average terminal regrowth scores were all over 1, there was a demonstrative overall response to treatment. In fact, a complete response was observed in 53.3% of cases in the azelaic acid cream group and 56.2% of cases in the anthralin cream group. In addition, subjects who were recorded as having a complete response had no new bald patches developed during the study period, suggesting that azelaic acid treatment could help control the condition outside of the treated area. Now, Dr. Sasmaz and Dr. Arikan concluded that while we, more research into the subjects was definitely needed, Azelaic acid could be an effective topical therapy for patchy alopecia areata since it yielded similar results to the proven effects of anthralin. This study is not without its faults, however. Dr. Sasmaz and Dr. Arikan used a fairly small sample size in their experiment. In addition, there was no reported follow-up for the study to assess the long-term effects of treatment. Even the use of anthralin as a comparison tool had been questioned by other scientists due to a lack of certainty in its usefulness. So. How can you try azelaic acid out for yourself? Well, since there are promising results linking azelaic acid to dropping DHT levels and a reduction of alopecia areata symptoms, it may be worth your while to try this product out for yourself. It is recommended that you add azelaic acid to your normal regime rather than substituting it as a treatment, especially if you're currently using an FDA approved hair product such as minoxidil or propecia. There are a variety of topical products that you can buy which contains azelaic acid including scalp creams and conditioner for alopecia containing azelaic acid, the FDA approved acne creams mentioned earlier in the video, shops that sell natural supplements often have vials containing azelaic acid, and apply the cream or other topical solution daily for the best results. What about the side effects? Well, while azelaic acid works for most people with no complications, the product is not recommended for those with sensitive skin or eczema. The product is also not recommended for people with darkly pigmented skin because the effects of azelaic acid on people with dark complexions are not yet fully known. Though azelaic acid has a very low toxicity, there have been cases in which mild skin irritation has occurred. Do not apply this cream to the eyes, mouth, nose or genitalia. 
Keep the area on which you applied the azelaic acid uncovered. Never apply it to the skin that has been affected by sunburn, windburn, excessive dryness or a wound. If you have one or more of the following side effects after starting this treatment, contact your doctor immediately and they are severe burning, itching, tingling, redness, dryness, peeling or changes in skin colour. Now, azelaic acid is a novel treatment for baldness that many people swear by, though more research is needed to prove whether this product is clinically effective. Based on your skin conditions and the current state of alopecia, you can determine whether you would like to add an az azelaic acid cream to your daily hair maintenance regime. So guys, that's what we want to share with you on azelaic acid today. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.